winter like temperatures are here and if you were like some of us that's made you wonder if your furnace is ready. Our Kyle Pazorski talked to a Madison area plumber about the simple things you can do and joins us live now with that checklist. Kyle. Good evening, guys. I'm here staying next to a furnace in an apartment complex. The plumber I spoke to this morning tells me that this morning's snow was a bit of a wake-up call for everyone to know that right now is the time to get your furnace checked out. A lot of guys, they'll wait till today when the snow's flying to turn it on. Troy Marthaler of Action Plumbing in Sun Prairie says when Jack Frost comes knocking, it's time to get your heating system in order. The system has to run because you get condensation on your vent pipes. You get condensation from the furnace. Everything fills in your drain traps and your drain hoses. Architectural Digest finds that buying a new furnace could cost you on average more than $4,600. I asked Troy to give me his top three tips everyone should know this winter, what he calls the simple steps to avoid a big repair bill. Always make sure you get your system turned on before it gets cold. Have your routine maintenance done. Always make sure you got fresh filters in your system. If you wait till the end, it doesn't matter what company you call, everybody's going to be busy now. It's great advice for those sticking around this winter, but for the snowbirds out there looking to get away from the cold, he also wants you to know this one thing. If you have nobody to watch your place or you don't have like a smart thermostat that you can see the temperature from wherever you are, if you don't have that, then you definitely don't want to turn your thermostat down even to 45. And if you follow all of these steps and something still breaks, do not wait. And he tells me that for it, it, the maintenance isn't limited to just homeowners. If you do rent and you see, uh, see if your lease requires, if you do have to do regular maintenance, some landlords do require tenants to do things like changing the filters. Reporting for News 3 Now, I'm Kyle Zorski.